What's good, YouTube? Out here at 6 a.m. in the gym. You know how we do it on a Monday. We're blasting a push day, me and Tim. Nick. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you, you seeing the title of the video. I'm doing, I'm gonna give you three ways to preserve and preserve and or build muscle while you're cutting. As you know, we're cutting right now. If you're not, you're blowing it because you're gonna look like shit for the summer. Anyways, I got my first set. I'm gonna go ahead and put a screenshot of the work that I'm trying to do today right now on the screen. You see I have hundreds by 888. So three sets of eight of 100 on the incline dumbbell press. That's what we're starting with. I'm gonna do three sets of nine of 100. That's the goal. So let's see how I do on my first set. And then we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna explain why you wanna do that. A couple other things too. So I got nine on that one. Remember I did eight last time. I'm trying to do two more sets. See if I can get nine on both of them. by now but there's actually four sets so I'm gonna be even more of an idiot and I'm gonna do 105 instead of hundreds because you know gotta do it for the two so here we go do it for the views do it for the views do it for the two it's been a while since I had 105 I'm gonna go for like six to seven I'll say six and then go from there see how I feel This is the second big compound of the day, so this is 
This and the last one of the most important things that you want to improve your strength on. So I'm going for 155. For three sets of five, let's see if you 150 by two sets of five and 155 by a set of five. So I'm trying to get all three sets of 155. Hope you notice the pattern here. So you're back home, now I'm in the kitchen. I showed you the first thing that you need to do and it's not only when cutting, but especially when cutting if you want to preserve and or build muscle while losing weight, meaning losing fat. So as you see, I had the progression. I had the workout posted. I know what I need to beat every time. Track your workouts. When you go in the gym, your body is most likely capable of pushing that one extra rep for each set or that two to five extra pounds, you know? so. You need to make sure you're pushing the envelope a little bit every time in the gym. Because if you go without a plan, which is what I've done the last few cuts that I have, if you go without a plan, you're going to get the same results as you would with somebody without a plan. You're not gonna, you're gonna go in one day and you're gonna be like, um, I usually do a hundreds. So you'll do a hundreds, but you don't know how many reps you're going for. So just say eight, okay? And your body, as it loses weight, it's gonna start making it feel harder. If you don't understand that you have to push more then it's easy for your body to just give in. And trust me, that's how you lose significant amounts of performance and muscle throughout a cut. Now, I expect some muscle and performance loss, some, only because I'm cutting for a while, but the more you can fight against it, the better. That's why I went up for my fourth set to 105s, as you saw. That is really pushing it, really forcing your body to either at least maintain, maybe even gain some strength and or muscle in the process of cutting. I'll bring you to number two, the second thing that's extremely, that's vital to preserving and or building muscle while cutting, and that is protein. Check it out, this is what my breakfast looks like. I got egg whites, a whole cup of egg whites, two whole eggs, some oatmeal, a little bread. I also got some juice and I also got green tea over there. Egg whites are a good way to increase protein intake. When you're cutting, you're looking for at least a gram per pound of body weight. Now, if you saw my video yesterday, that was recorded yesterday, it's up already, check it out right here. It is, you'll see that I didn't get a gram of protein per pound of body weight, but I did make up for it with a lot of carbs and I actually went over a little bit. I woke up a little heavier today, but that's, part of the plan. Usually on a daily basis, look for one gram or more of protein per pound of body weight. That's gonna help to synthesize, keep your protein synthesis elevated, which is obviously very important. Keep a positive nitrogen balance in the blood to allow for constant protein synthesis and holding on to muscle. If you want more information on that, I do have videos uh, that I've uploaded a long time ago explaining all this stuff. So protein is key if you're not hitting your protein if you're not hitting the right weights more sets more reps in the gym you will not hold on to as much muscle as you could you're not going to look as good as you could on your cut all right now step number three step number three i'm actually over here in my room because this is where i have my sheet to track my weigh-ins i know i sound like a broken record with the whole weigh-in thing but it's kind of twofold step number three one is you want to track your daily weigh-ins but this is gonna ensure that you do the step, which is lose as slowly as you can. Now, by that I mean no slower than half a pound a week. I would prefer one pound a week because at the same time, if you're in a deficit for too, too long, your life's gonna kinda suck. So one pound a week or just slightly higher, two pounds or more, you're starting to get into an aggressive cut that you're going to sacrifice muscle and the chances are very high. So definitely make sure if you look at, at my, my results here, I'll show you them. So if you look at what I've got so far, right? I started up at around 217 week one. That's the average, but my total top weight there was 220, right? And this is the end of week eight. I'm at 211.8. So on average, that's actually about six pounds exactly lost between the two. But from the starting weight at around 220, even as high as 221, I've lost about eight to nine pounds in eight weeks. So that's what you gotta do, you know? You gotta track, you gotta be diligent, you gotta push the envelope in the gym just a little bit more every time. You gotta make sure you're eating healthy, adequate amounts of protein, healthy foods. You know, stuff like egg whites is huge to get protein in. You know, it looks like this, you know? Get yourself some egg whites if you have trouble getting protein in. Get yourself some protein powder. If you want to know which protein powder I use, comment below, I'll let you know. You know, what else we got? We got Greek yogurt. 
is a great way to get high protein in a little snack, you know. Uh, milk, if you drink milk, skim milk, of course, lower fats. So, you know, you just gotta make sure that you're doing what's necessary. Cutting is not easy. In my case, it might be slightly easier just because of my genetics and all that kind of stuff, but it's not easy for me to hold on to the muscle. So I had to learn how to do that and I had to really find out how to do it. That's why I'm sharing it with you. So do these three things consistently throughout your entire cut and you will notice dramatic changes in your physique from losing all the fat, but also gaining possible muscle, gaining strength, especially on a relative scale. Amazing. So do these three things. I hope this helps. If you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, Comment below, leave me a like, subscribe for more content. I got more coming on the way. Watch my other videos, learn all you can. Let's get shredded together. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in that next one. Cheers.